Skyway Convasion is a story about aliens, video games, and what it means to be a leader. The main character is a girl called Casey. She's 15 years old and her favorite game is Skywake. It's an online first person team shooter, a little bit like Fortnite or Overwatch, and she's really good at it. So good, in fact, that she and her teammates are invited to a special esports tournament that's being held in a shopping center in London, where the developers of the game are hoping to find the best players in the country. But what Casey discovers when she gets there is that Skywake is more than just a game. It's actually an alien training tool created by an evil extraterrestrial race known as the Red Eyes. And they want to come to Earth to take the best gamers and use them as soldiers to fight in a distant war on an alien planet. And they're going to take them whether they want to go or not. Skyway grew out of my love of video games. Um, video gaming is something I, I love almost as much as I love books. Um, and the first ever video game I saw was when I was five years old. And it was, it was actually one of the earliest video games and it was called Space Invaders. And unlike games today that we have at home or on our smartphones, um, this was something that you could only find in a video arcade. It was a cabinet, big, big tall cabinet. Um, and when I was five years old, it seemed enormous to me. And the first time I saw it, it absolutely blew my mind. And um, I was just tall enough to reach up to the controls and have a go. And it was a really simple game, just little aliens going, moving across the screen from left to right. And you had to shoot up and destroy them and stop them from invading the earth. But that game um, introduced me to video games and started a lifelong love of them. And what I wanted to do in Skywake was talk about um, gaming culture and uh, why games are important, because quite often people seem to think that gaming is a, is a waste of time. But actually, gaming can teach you really interesting skills. Um, it's really good at teaching you how to work with other people as part of a team. Uh, which is what Skywake's all about. It's really great at teaching you um, problem solving skills, how to solve puzzles and uh, how to, to make things work within the game world. And it's also really good at teaching you leadership skills. And even um, the army uses video games to try and teach its soldiers how to work together as, as squads and um, how to give orders and take orders. Um, so all those things were fed into this idea in Skywake of there being a uh, aliens using a video game to train soldiers um, to fight in a war for them. And I thought that would be a really interesting way to start the story and to take us on what's really a fast paced, action packed sci-fi adventure. I like to write on a computer, on a laptop. I have really terrible handwriting, the worst handwriting ever. So I don't write in longhand at all. Um, sometimes I make some notes in a notepad, but then I can't read them because my handwriting is so bad. Um, so I like to write on a computer. I like to write somewhere quiet. And lots of people like to write in places like coffee shops, but I, I prefer it if it's quiet around me. And um, I also like to stare at a wall, no windows. I don't like looking out the window while I'm writing because I get distracted. So just stare at a wall. And what I find about writing, what I really love about it is when you really get into the flow of it, and this is something I talk about in Skywake, this idea of flow. Sometimes you find it in video games or if you're a, a top athlete um, or maybe if you're a really great musician, you just get so involved in what you're doing that the rest of the world just seems to melt, melt away around you. And um, that's what I find, that's what I love about writing, finding that sense of flow where you're just immersed in the story that you're telling and it's almost as though you've traveled to a different world and you're right there. And so finding that, that feeling, um, I find it's really the best way to do it is to have somewhere quiet without any distractions, maybe put some headphones on and um, really get into the story. And that's the best feeling in the world. When I was growing up, my favorite kind of book to read was science fiction. If it was a story about alien invasions or space travel or journeys to distant worlds or time travel, um, I would devour it. And I read lots of books. Uh, some of the, the ones I remember most fondly are books like The Tripods, 
and The War of the Worlds. Um, and there was a series that I really loved uh, called Star Stormers. And it was by someone called Nicholas Fisk. And it was about a group of kids whose parents were um, living off world somewhere out in space. And so they decided one day to escape from school on Earth and they were gonna fly into space to find their parents. And what they did was they found a asteroid and they hollowed out the insides and they fitted it with rocket engines and then they blasted off into space and they had all kinds of adventures as they were searching for their parents so they met a really strange evil alien race who was chasing after them um, but i love that idea about kids working together as a team and going off on some sci-fi adventure and that was actually quite a big uh, influence on skywake and something that i was thinking about when i was writing I've got three top tips for you if you want to be a writer. And these are tips that I've learned um, through years of writing and making loads of mistakes. So you can learn from my mistakes. The first one is read a lot. That's a really, really good piece of advice. And it might sound funny because I'm not saying write a lot, I'm saying read a lot. But when you read other people's stories, you get a sense of the rhythm and the flow of how stories work and how plots work. And it's really, really useful Get a sense of that so read as much as you can um, and read non-fiction as well not just fiction non-fiction could be really useful um, for giving you ideas about things that you can you can put into your story the second one is to plan before you start writing and i'm really guilty of not always doing this before you start writing know what your story is and where it's going to go because the worst thing to do is to start writing and you have that sudden rush of energy you know like, this is really exciting this is really exciting and then sooner or later all that energy is going to go and you'll say oh i give up now so if you know where your story is going to go then you when you run out of energy you can keep on going if you don't know where your story is going to go when you run out of energy suddenly you're like oh this is too hard now so plan that's a really good idea know what the beginning the middle and the end of your story is but the third one and this is the most important this is one it took me a long time to learn is finish what you started don't be like me and have lots of half finished stories sat in a drawer of your desk that um, you started writing and then never finished because nobody wants to read a half written story Trust me, the best thing to do is to write something and finish it. It doesn't matter whether you think it's good or bad. If you finish it, you can make it better. And if you uh, finish it, you can show it to other people and ask them what they think. If you show someone half a story, they'll say, this is, this is great, but where's the other half? So top tip, finish what you start. <laughs>